The second fall going to get underway here in just a moment or two. First fall went to the Assassins over Prince Pullen. Rocky Montero now wanting to come in as this match second fall is underway. But this will not be allowed. Or will it? I guess so. I guess the referee is going to go ahead and let him wrestle, although uh, Pullen is the one that's supposed to be in there. He lost the last fall. I guess the referee feels, though, that they need all the breaks on their side they can get. They don't really believe in being illegal on both sides, but that's the way this one happened to go. Now, this gauntlet on the right hand of these assassins, I believe, has been provoking an eye injury on Montero. He had it jabbed in his face a couple of times in the first fall, and right here at the outset of the second fall, I am quite certain that that was the gauntlet that was dragged across the face. Again, yes, sir, that's it. That right gauntlet. I've examined these, and I do know that they are made out of leather. There's a bit of padding in the heel of the hand area of that gauntlet. As far as I can see, that padding is nothing more than just reinforced leather. There have been some who have claimed that it's steel. There's a steel insert or something like that. I have not seen any steel insert. I have seen a padded area, and I do believe it is pliable. From what I could examine of it, it was pliable, which steel, of course, would not be. That gauntlet again dragged across the face now of Pullen. And he's whipped through the ropes as both Pullen and Montero now are going to spend a little time off the apron over there. It's Montero that is the legal entry in the ring and it will be up to him to get through the ropes. More championship wrestling coming your way tonight. Don't you go away. Dick the Bruiser on the card. One of the Dolly Brothers. Tony Parenti. Moose Chola. The assassin getting a taste of what he's been dishing out is three fingers grinding away at the eyes and the nose of number one assassin. Crossed with a right forearm there just momentarily ago and then another drag of the fingernails and fingers across the eyes. Look at that. Well, what's done by one illegally does not make it legal for the other and the referee is entirely within his rights to attempt to separate them. The referee cannot, if he knows what's good for him really, use any physical or any body action, any body effort at all to separate the wrestlers. The referee is protected by commission rules, which means, of course, that if he should receive any deliberate injury inside that ring, there would be suits and fines involved. This, of course, does not pertain to the wrestlers in the ring. And should the referee get some body contact in there with any one of these wrestlers volunteered on his part, then the wrestler is quite capably allowed to defend himself, and the referee voids all this protection he has from the commission. So that's one of the reasons why they resort to the disqualification counts and why they cannot do any more than what they do a lot of times. There's a headbutt by Pullen about the third one he's thrown at both these assassins. A nice drop kick. Puts him to the mat. Let's see. We have a count of one. That's it. There's a short right under the throat by Montero as he viciously slams the face of the assassin to the mat. And again, Montero outside the ropes as Pullen goes for the pin. And again, the count just barely reaches two. Over the ropes and... Disqualification count commenced. Yeah. 
Look out here. Boomerang into the rope. Goes for a tag and Montero completely out of the corner. No opportunity to complete the tag. And it's pulling left at the mercy of the assassin until Montero makes that rope. Down again. This has been a pretty wild match all the way. Drag right across the eyes. There's one assassin, although he's working against two men in there, seems to have pretty much the go of it. It's a good right by Montero, but he has def ooh, right into the top buckle. And that'll take some of the sap out of the legs for sure. Again, as this time down to the mat. A flying mare and at the mercy of that top drop off the rope. And the clincher. One, two, and three, and that's it. In two consecutive falls, the time on that second fall, six minutes and 27 seconds, 621. The winners in two consecutive falls, the Assassins with their manager, Captain Willie. More championship wrestling to come. Stick around. We'll be back in just a moment. 